Hey, I'm Captain Jeff Schaefer. I'm with the 9th Air Refueling Squadron at Travis Air Force Base in California. I'm here to show you about the KC-10 Extender. Let's go. So the KC-10 was made from a DC-10 made by McDonnell Douglas. Uh, biggest difference is that when the military bought it, they put a boom on the back for air refueling. They took out the passenger compartments and they uh, put in fuel tanks so we have a longer range and can give more gas. Right here we have our cargo door. Uh, we use that to load in cargo, uh, put in uh, palletized cargo so with no seats we can put in 27 uh, pallets of cargo and then with seats we can have up to 75 troops in there. Over here we have our, our wing engine. We have three engines on the KC-10 which makes it different than every other plane in the uh, Air Force. We're the only three engine plane. We've got one on each wings and then one on the vertical stabilizer up top. Coming to the back is our business end. This is where we do the air refueling. So as you can see we have the boom hanging uh, from the back. That's where we refuel any U.S. Air Force aircraft or any allied partners as well. Uh, we're able to give them any gas that we have in our tanks and then we bring them across the country or across the world, wherever they need to go. The yellow stripe down the middle on the bottom of the plane is for our aircraft doing receiver air refueling. Gives them a nice center line to fly down the plane. And then we also have these lights that tell them where, once they're in contact, if they need to go closer, farther away, up or down to be perfectly centered in the air refueling envelope. We have our drogue as well. So the drogue is uh, permanently attached to the KC-10. It helps us or makes us able to refuel the Navy as well as any international partners. Most aircraft there are drogue air refueling. So this window here is where the boom operator sits. That's where they're looking out while they're doing air refueling. Uh, so they come all the way to the back, go down below the floor, and they have all the controls there. Uh, the boom operator from the back has full radio control. They talk to any receiver aircraft, as well as has uh, radio contact with the pilots up front to make sure we know what's going on as well. All right, so here we have our landing gear. We've got two wheel gears, as well as a center gear and then a nose gear up front. Uh, ultimately, 10 tires on the back, and then the two tires up front on the nose gear. All right, I'd love to show you the inside. Come on up. All right, so this is the inside of the KC-10. We have palletized seats in the back that we can push off the jet in the cargo configuration, leave more room for cargo. Otherwise, we can put as many seats as possible, fit 75 troops. We can go up to the front here, uh, see the uh, flight deck, the galley, and then we'll bring you back to the boom. All right, come on into the flight deck. So the KC-10 has a basic crew of four, two pilots, a flight engineer, and a boom operator. So the flight engineer station is right here. They're the systems experts handling everything that has to do with this plane. They have the hydraulics, the air conditioning, the electrical, and then the fuel. The fuel's the biggest thing. They're managing as much as they can, balance of the aircraft, center of gravity, and then how much fuel we need to offload to any receiver, as well as fuel that we need to keep for ourselves to land. Here we have the pilot seat and the co-pilot seat. Uh, we're up here flying the aircraft, actually using the controls. So the pilot taxis the aircraft with this tiller, using turning the nose wheel to, to taxi the aircraft. And then we just have a clock, our airspeed, our altimeter, radio altimeter, and then directional control. Uh, we have our engine instruments up here, one for each engine. So the left side is the left wing engine, the right side, right wing engine, and then the second engine here is the one on top of the plane. The co-pilot has everything the same, uh, mirrored from the pilot side, and then we take turns either being on the radio or actively flying the aircraft. The unique thing with the KC-10, uh, with three throttles and three engines to start. The co-pilot starts one engine, the pilot starts one engine, and the flight engineer starts one engine. So everyone has a, has a purpose in this plane. Everyone needs to be, know the limitations and the systems to operate it. 
Uh, while we're taking off, the pilots are pushing the throttles forward, the flight engineers uh, fine-tuning the engine, making sure that it's ready to go, that we have the performance capable that they calculated to take off to properly uh, exit the airfield and get ready for our mission. All right, we're done with the flight section. Let me go show you the boom section. All right, so on our way to the back, everything back here is controlled by the boom. They're the cargo loaders. They make sure that they're putting the uh, cargo where it needs to go so that we have appropriate center of gravity for the takeoff. And they palletize it, push it in, and then push it all the way to the back to effectively load up the aircraft. So here with a fully loaded KC-10, we have 27 palletized cargo positions. So we can load it up as much as we can and then take cargo, passengers, and fuel to the next uh, destination. All right, so this is Sergeant Gomez Rivera. He's our boom operator. I will tell you all about his station here. As you guys can see, we don't have a computer. We saw a little window right here and two set of eyes. That's all we do. Right here to my right hand, we have the control stick. With this, I, I control the left and right, up and down motion of the boom. And to my left hand, I have a telescope. We control the retraction and the extension of the boom. So my job is to uh, set the limits of the receiver. The receiver starts center and they come in when I tell them to. And my whole job is to make a contact as safe as possible without damaging the aircraft or damaging our aircraft. All right, that concludes our tour of the KC-10 Extender. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>